What up, y'all? It is your boy, Zach, known as King of All YouTubers here. Back for more electric writing videos. Before I begin, take all YouTube channels and Dark Colors of Lightning and Hulk smash them all and choose the subscribe button because we are writing positive comments each day. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to a brand new video that I, that I saw earlier today. And so, I haven't reacted to a video in a long time, in a long, long time. It's been a hot minute. Since it's been a hot minute, it's been a while since I reacted to a video. So let's go ahead and do that. So, he has 453 likes, 15,752 views, and was uploaded on June 23rd, 2024, which was eight days ago he uploaded. And his YouTube channel name is Duct. And he has 105 subscribers. I just subscribed to him, so I am his, I am his 105th subscriber. And by the way, Duct, shout, shouts out to you because you're an amazing YouTuber. I know you're a small YouTube creator, but I'm going to get you to 500 subscribers because you're awesome. Uh, um, and the title of this video is Minecraft's Biggest Update Yet. So, I am so, so, so excited to react to this. So excited to bring back these reaction videos. Bring back these reaction videos on my YouTube channel. So excited. So... Yeah! But before I begin the reaction... I want to put the YouTube channel Duct in my description. So, you can, so you guys and girls can check them out. Let's get him to 500 subscribers. That is his goal. And so let's help him out to get to 500 subscribers. But that YouTube channel name is going to be in the description of this reaction video here. So ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin this reaction. Minecraft 1.22 will be the biggest update yet, and here's why. Mojang has just released 1.21 Tricky Trials, but they also mm -hmm. may have been foreshadowing their next update as well. On mm -hmm. the Minecraft YouTube page, they have just released two new videos, The Grey Wild and The Mystery Behind the Ender Dragon. Now, how are they similar? They are both related to the end. Right. Now, sure, this just could be a theory, but many things have been pointing towards an end update. Minecraft likes to build up to their big updates, such as 1.16 The Nether update, and looking back, the update right before was 1.15 busy beats but what does this have to do with 1.22 i think it's safe to say many players have found 1.21 a bit underwhelming only really adding wolf armor trial chambers and a few new items right however this could simply just be built up for their next and possibly biggest update yet throughout the years minecraft's biggest updates have been ones that changed the progression of the game 1.16 revamped the nether, 1.14 revamped villages, 1.13 revamped oceans, right. and finally 1.18 revamped Minecraft's entire terrain system. Right. Last piece missing now is the end. Throughout the years, not much has happened to the end besides adding end cities, and what Minecraft needs right now is another stage of progression. After you kill the ender dragon, there isn't much more to do progression wise. Minecraft is in a need right now of right. new stage progression in the game, right. and adding something like this would be their biggest update yet. Now the last three updates have not been too large looking back, but this can be Mojang has been working on something in the background, something big. Let's go back to this. Okay, so basically the 1.19 was called the wild update, which was kind of mid. It's called the, instead of being called the wild update, it's a, the mod update. Because of a little controversy stuff about the Child Report Future. Let's not get into that. Um, the Trails and Tales update, which was a 1.20 update, which added a brand new biome, the Cherry Grove, brand, the br Cherry Grove, and the Plains biome. And then the Tricky Trials update added the Breeze, eight new wolf variants, wolf armor. Di Diane Wolf Armor, co many different colors. The Trial Spawner, the Trial Spawners, um, the Vault, the Ominous Vault, Ominous Key, and the other 
spooky chalky um so many new things in the tricky trials update the village and pillage update what he said that what he said again the pillar the village and pillage update basically revamped villages in which added pillagers pillager outposts the 1.13 update which was the update aquatic which revamped oceans before the aquatic update the oceans were barren nothing added but the 1.13 update came the aquatic update even stealth black stealth not black stealth but like stealth either minecraft youtuber shouts out to you because you are awesome um the aquatic update added the phantom uh why the most annoying mob in the game um magma cubes not the magma cubes the magma blocks with bubbles going down that brings you pulling down pulling you down minecraft players down the soul sand blocks that bubbles going up will bring play minecraft players up to the surface um, the swimming animations were finally added, and dolphins, ocean monuments, well, I think ocean monuments, I'm, I'm not, yeah, I think so, or maybe ocean monuments will be for the aquatic update, I'm not too sure on that. Um... The 1.15 update, the Busy Bees update was a small update, but it wasn't too bad. Just added some variants of bees. Well, not just variants, just added bees, honey. Just a small update. And then the 1.16 update, which was the biggest update of all time, which was another update, which overhauled the Nether with Netherite armor, which is basically stronger than Diamond. And... Uh, oh yeah, the biomes, the crimson biome, the warped crimson biome, the soul sand valley, any other biomes in the nether, brand new music, brand new music dicks, like pig step, and 1.19 update, um, for, I forgot, brand new two things, the ancient cities and the warden, um, 1.17 update and the 1.18 update are fully like that. So the Caves and Cliffs update, Caves and Cliffs update, which revamped the overworld completely, which is adding the mountains and adding the mountains and revamping the world, increasing the height of 320 blocks, 318 blocks, and. Also in the case of Clips update, they added Skulk, which is an infected block, which spreads to the underground. And... Also in the case of Clips update, they also added ax Axolotls. And they finished off the case and Cliffs update this year. And they introduced bundles, and it's been four years since the bundles first got introduced. introduced. And then the bundles... Got at and the bundles did not get added yet, but it's in the works as of under development. In which bundles does a really good job of putting items in, storing that, making the inventory look even more nicer. Also in the case and cliffs update, tons and tons of brand new blocks. What if they did the same thing for the 1.22 update? The end. Like a bajillion blocks, a bajillion mobs. Well, not like a whole lot, but like a whole lot of mobs. It's like 10 of 20 mobs, and 10 biomes to explore, brand new ender monster spawners, a brand new mini boss, which could be the ender titan, like for Minecraft dungeons. Um. The end update should also revamp 
the Ender Dragon fight in which basically at these pill other extra pillars up top of these obsidian pillars which protecting the Ender Dragon was something much more after defeating the Ender Dragon go over to the end cities discover more yeah uh, and a brand new armor and tools in which in the right armor which is said to be rarer than netherite stronger than netherite and the inner right armor is strong enough to survive against the warden because as of the netherite armor right now it is useless the reason why I say that is because even though the netherite armor is good and all and weapons the warden can take you out in two hits as of the netherite armor, an enchanted netherite armor. I know and people are like, why is it useless? Why is the netherite armor useless? Why, why, why? Okay, calm down audience. I know, I know. The reason why it's useless is because netherite armor is going to be stronger than the netherite. Even when the warden takes you out in netherite armor, the warden will stand no chance against you. So the warden will take you out with indirect armor in 10 hits. 10 hits or even 15 hits. But indirect armor is said to be really powerful. Brand new inter pearl variant types. Brand new, um, like, um, Brand new teleportation system. They, they could totally, Mojin and I could definitely revamp the teleportation system and as of Ender Pearls and add more Ender Pearl variants. But I am super duper excited for this to happen. So please enjoy this video, kind of comments, and the outro. Power Squad, King of All, YouTube Squad, and the Minecraft Squad. We'll see you later. This is Pieces Out. Oh, yeah. Reason pieces out. Reason pieces out.